Hello chess lovers! In this video I would like to show you a very interesting game played between Stockfish 9 and Lella 0, which as you know has arisen a great interest recently and like Alpha 0, except for the fundamental rules of chess, everything Lella knows she has learned from playing games against herself. Lella doesn't use an opening book or an endgame table base. Of course, still Stockfish is way too stronger than Lella, but the game is pretty interesting and let's see how long can Lella hold. This was a 5 minute game and was played on leechess.org. Lela chess 0 had white pieces and she started with e4, e6 by stockfish 9, stockfish goes for french defense, d4, d5 and e5, we see the advanced variation, c5, c3, queen b6, knight f3, knight c6, black is starting to put pressure on d4 square, of course a very standard idea in french defense a3, usually in this position black is either playing knight h6 or c4 closing the queen side, but in this game we see f6 by stockfish, stockfish is instantly challenging white's center, bishop e2, f takes e5, d takes e5, c4, opening up this c5 square for the bishop and at the same time taking under control the light squares, knight d2 and here we go bishop c5 attacking the pawn on f2, white castles king's side, now comes the knight, knight h6, h3, knight f5, b3 and knight g3 already white is facing serious problems. Right now the rook on f1 square is under attack, white can't move away the rook because in that case we'll lose the pawn on f2, b takes c4 and black is simply capturing on f1. Already from the opening stockfish manages to get a slight advantage, king takes f1, black castles king side, rook b1, queen c7, knight b3, the bishop also retreats and c takes d5. In return, stockfish is capturing on e5, knight d4, knight takes f3, bishop takes f3, e5, knight b5, queen c4 check, king g1, bishop c5, gradually black is starting to activate his pieces, d6, already white is creating some dangerous threats, trapping the light square bishop, but in return Stockfish is pushing the e pawn e4 and after kicking away the bishop the queen retreats back on f7 square intensifying the pressure on f2 square. Of course capturing on f2 straight away was also playable and then queen f7 but Stockfish knew better what he was doing and he played queen f7 first bishop e3, we see the exchange of bishops on e3 square and bishop d7 blocking the pawn's path, king h2, rook d8, c4, king h8, a prophylactic move later, white can't give any possible checks or even offer an exchange of queens, knight c3, but now it turns out that the knight on c3 square is vulnerable and stockfish instantly goes for this beautiful tactical shot, bishop takes h3. White didn't accept the sacrifice and played queen d5, but let's have a look what will happen if white captures on h3, for example if king takes h3 then queen e6 check, if king h2 then queen e5 check and then winning the knight, or after bishop takes h3, if a move like g takes h3 then this can be even more dangerous because white king is now exposed, if king h1 then queen takes e3 and white should surrender his knight, otherwise if a move like knight d5 then simply queen takes h3 check, king g1, queen g3, the rook is coming and white king can get checkmated. That's why after queen takes e3 white should play bishop f1 and after queen takes c3 again black has a huge advantage. Let's go back, but after bishop takes h3 we first see queen d5. Queen g6 creating a very dangerous threat, queen g2 checkmate, king takes h3, again g takes h3 can be met with rook f2 and white king can get checkmated, that's why we see king takes h3, queen h6 check, bishop h5, queen takes e3 check, this queen is simply grabbing everything on its path and now queen takes c3, rook takes b7, queen f6, c5, Queen f1 check, Black is simply 
exploiting the fact that white king is exposed and the king is becoming an easy target for black pieces. Now comes g5 check king g4, well if queen takes g5 then simply queen h1 check followed by rook g8 and it's over, or after g5 check if king takes g5 then rook g8 check followed by queen h1 checkmate. Let's go back, that's why after g5 we see king g4, but this is also losing already stockfish shows mate in 12 moves. Let's see how this beast going to checkmate white king. Queen takes h5, the bishop also drops, queen e2 check, king h3, queen f1 check, king g4, now comes the rook, rook f6, both preventing any possible checks and at the same time freeing the 8th rank for the other rook, queen takes e4, now comes h5 check, king takes g5, rook g8 check, king h4 and now you can pause the video and try to find stockfish's next move. Ready? In this position this beast played rook f4 check, the idea is to lure away the queen and then checkmate white king. But Lela captured on f4 with a pawn which is also losing, here comes queen f2 check, king takes h5 and queen h2 checkmate. A very interesting game I think, with that super solid French defense, Stockfish 9 just grabbed an initiative from the opening and then just crushed white king. Of course the final combination involving a rook sacrifice on f4 square also looks very impressive and finally we see a checkmate on the board. I hope that you enjoyed this beautiful encounter, thanks for watching and if you have any questions don't hesitate to leave your comments. Good luck!